Well, I did not come back to the model table yesterday. Yeah, I uh, started thinking about the fact that my hair was starting to get a little bit long, at least long for me. And then I checked to see how long it had been since I'd given myself a haircut, and it was about two months. I thought, you know, you know, how hard is this? All I have to do is just go down in my workshop and shave it off. It only took about five minutes, maybe less. And uh, by the time I did that and had a real nice hot shower and started feeling uh, kind of sleepy, I just didn't feel like it. So here we are with today. And uh, pardon my boarding house reach here. I'm thinking that we're going to get pretty close to the end here of 58. We've got to make a starfish type thing. And uh, that I might solder. It looks like there's going to be, uh, yeah, I'll probably solder that. And soldering probably won't be today though. Anyway. Let's get at it. I find that I'm doing stuff in slow motion lately. I have cleaned the overspray, the paint, uh, off of these parts, first with Windex and then with the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. And what I'm thinking right now is that maybe it might be easier to try and uh, glue these brackets in place. I guess the uh, this shorter one would be in the center. And I'll uh, rig up a jig to hold it in place. Now now I know I could probably try and uh, and solder it, but uh, I don't know if I want to be trying to solder stuff that is that small. It's got to go something like this. Now you can see where the, where this this part is going to cover over that hole, which means that the uh, what I thought was a peg actually was flashing, and I think that in all likelihood, now of course it's going to be coming from the other side. But I think that what's going to happen is if we if we take that flashing completely off this this thing should still be able to center itself on in the hole and we should get it in the right place uh, this this is actually the bottom of the platform and and these long pieces will be bent up uh, okay let's see if we can do something here Okay, I notice I'm getting a bit of a glare off of the uh, waxed paper here from the overhead lights. And uh, now I think I'm all set up here. We'll give it a whirl. Um, that was something I was going to say and I forgot. Anyway. You know what I've noticed is that this thing is slipping down over my ears. My head has lost weight. Okay, uh, I guess that's a good thing. It used to be sort of a, I might say a bit of a fat head. Um, all right, let's get serious here. Now. I think that's some better. Might not be better for you. Um, anyway, uh, th th we have uh, UK Jason, and we've also got New York City Jason. 
Now, New York City Jason was saying that he uses a pin to apply a minute amount of CA glue. Now, this, this pin has the uh, point broken off the end of it, or filed off, I can't remember which. But my experience is that when I use a pin to try and uh, apply liquid of any kind, the liquid will work its way up the point of the pin. So I'm going to try this one here. And uh, because normally I, I use something like this, and uh, this this is is just almost a little bit too heavy duty because I'm going to want to try and just put just the tiniest little bit in this crack. Now we won't be using that, but what I want to do here is see if I can't. Um, tape the, this down. Oh, I bent it. Well, that, that's all right. Let's get this out of the way here. Okay, it's going to be bent anyway. No. Tape this one down. Just so it doesn't move around. Just let me check the screen. Um, okay, well at least this way you can see how I do this. Um, now, let's do a dry run here. We're going to want to pick this up and we're going to want to glue it right there in that crack probably holding on to it out near the out near the end here I don't want to be touching it with my fingers any more than I have to okay now if I can hold this together like this now we're going to sample a little bit of CA thin here so in New York Jason I'm doing this uh, because of your suggestion, I don't recall ever having done this before. crack. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got it. All right, now, now very gently here. Looks like it's got to lean just a little bit towards me. That looks pretty well square or perpendicular, I guess you might say. Okay, let's let that cure and we'll, uh, after it's cured, we'll try the other ones. You know, it's it's funny how the memory works. I could remember soldering this joint for some reason. And when I was thinking about, you know, what I was said a few minutes ago about this thing being too small now, or, or my head too small, rather. <laughs> uh, and uh, I was thinking, well, there's no use trying to adjust it because I thought I'd also soldered this one. But I guess with this one, all I did was I crimped it a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I've just adjusted it about a uh, quarter of an inch in, and we'll, tr we'll try that and see how that goes. Um, where the, you might call it the sweat band, this, this had been painted, and it was getting pretty grungy, so I cleaned that out of there. Uh, once again, you're getting more information than you need. Uh, this visor, or uh, 
magnifier rather is uh, it's kind of special because I bought this at uh, Cellar Dweller which is now closed and uh, yeah you know it's, it's kind of funny you, you sort of have the feeling that a place is always going to be there and uh, well it was for about 50 years anyway we're good to go here Now, I don't know if I should try and reinforce that or not, or if I'm going to lose the uh, definition, because it's obviously going to be... Okay, this one on the left here, it appears to be sort of leaning over. Uh, but I think I'm going to leave well enough alone. And uh, let's check and see now uh, what we're supposed to do next. Okay, I think I'm going to leave the wax paper stuck down on the uh, green cloth here because it appears we have to make up another one of these things later. Uh, and, and this one has to have a railing put on it. And I thought we were going to get to the starfish today. Um, okay, now you notice on the back here there's a, there's a little... Uh, like a tiny little ledge. Now, as near as I can tell, very gently here, okay, as near as I can tell, this is supposed to sit on top of the ledge, not underneath it. So I'm just going to have to re reset up here. Um, probably use the helping hands to hold this and uh, then we'll see what happens here I'm not sure what I'm going to do obviously okay let's see if we can do a bit of a dry run here Okay, I think that's going to work. That actually went better than I thought. And for those of you thinking that I've been practicing, that's actually the first time that I've uh, tried it. I'm surprised it worked myself. Okay, obviously I've repositioned here. Now take your time, Ron, take your time. straight down on it. It should come this way just a tiny bit. Alright. Now let's let that cure and then reinforce later. I can well imagine that uh, once we do our reinforcing it'll be less chance for these angle brackets to break off. Uh, I think it has to come down just a little. Better leave well enough alone here. Okay, in a second we're going to be flipping this up and you won't be able to see the underneath anymore. 
but I did uh, reinforce it just a little bit here. And uh, okay, let's turn it up and uh, look at it from the other way. Okay, I was about to uh, cut this uh, piece of flashing off, uh, but I just wanted you to see that uh, I don't think we can get this to go in there properly. No. No, it, it doesn't want to go. Okay, I'm going to cut that off. And always try to do as much as you can on camera. Now I'm just wondering here as I'm sitting here editing this out if possibly that little piece that I cut off was actually supposed to be an offset pin and was supposed to be, uh, if you remember, it was kind of offset uh, off to the side. It wasn't in, the, in this coming out of the center of the pedestal. And it could be it was supposed to be sort of wedged down uh, on one side of that uh, bracket that was underneath there. Just a thought. Well, that went all right. And for perspective. Okay, just looking at it from another angle, it almost looks like it's leaning slightly to the left. Now you'll notice that there's a little tiny indentation or divot or whatever you want to call it. Well, that's uh, what we've got to try and fit over top of the top of our pedestal. Now I want to try and pick this up right on the edge so that I don't I don't touch the uh, tweezer on the CA glue. And I remember the, yeah, the holes on the bottom. Should I try and tap it down or am I going to just knock it off there? Let's just let's see what happens here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much horizontal. Okay, let's uh, let that cure. And we'll maybe reinforce it a bit from the other side. Okay, let's uh, try a New York Jason's pin idea here. I don't know if I got any on there. Mind you, every time I say that, it turns out that I've actually given it a bath. We are going to have to leave this uh, little railing that goes around that platform for tomorrow's episode. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to work on it tonight or not. I know I say that in almost every, uh, the end of every episode, and then uh, <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Well, we'll see what happens. 
In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>